to At Home with the Dietitian. Today we're going to be making a very healthy and low carb side dish. It is a balsamic and Parmesan roasted cauliflower. It only takes a few simple ingredients and cooks up very quickly and easily while you're prepping your other ingredients for the meal. So let's go ahead and get started by getting our cauliflower prepped and ready to go. Okay, so to get our cauliflower ready, we just want to get rid of the greens to start. So I usually just cut as close as I can without losing, you know, without cutting into the actual parts that we want. And then obviously after this, we will wash it all off. And then I just kind of break off some of the, the rest of the greens. And then we'll get those over on the side. This one's being a little bit more difficult. There we go. Now we've got most of those off. And then we want to get fairly consistent, but not too big pieces. So I'll go in and just start getting close to the stems here. And if they're bigger, I'll break them apart. So, and then we'll just put them in our colander and get them washed up next. Okay, so I've washed the cauliflower and I broke up any pieces that were a little bit larger. I want them as uniform as possible, preferably a little bit on the smaller side because then they cook a little bit faster and when they're smaller, they get more browning, so they taste better. So let's go ahead and get the ingredients on the cauliflower. So first we have um, four tablespoons of olive oil. And I did want, want to point out, I use two heads of cauliflower. So, you know, depending on your family size, you can scale up or down from there. And I'm putting it in a bowl because then what I can do is stir it up and distribute everything evenly. Okay, so four tablespoons of olive, olive oil. Then I've got two teaspoons of ground marjoram. Marjoram is similar in flavor to oregano. So if you don't have margarine, you could substitute for oregano um, as well. Okay, and then we are going to do a half tablespoon, or I'm sorry, it's half teaspoon <laughs> of salt, and I prefer the uh, kosher salt. For this recipe, you want to use a, a, a finer grounded kosher salt. Certain times you'd want a, a thick, coarse, more coarse kosher salt. So, and what I'll probably do is finish with a little bit of ground pink salt. Okay, and then pepper to taste, which again, you can, you know, those who prefer more pepper, like I do, can add that themselves. Okay, so now we are going to just mix that up, try and get everything distributed as evenly as possible. Yeah. Okay, so now we are ready to put our cauliflower on the sheet pan. So we're gonna just come over here, and shake it out evenly. And this is about the max that um, one sheet pan will take. You don't want too much because you don't want it steaming. One obvious, would obviously be ideal, um, but we have a bigger family, so we, we squeeze it on. Honestly, three heads of cauliflower serves our family of seven, so <laughs> it'll cook down. Okay, I have preheated our oven to 425 degrees. So we are going to get this in the oven and cook it for about 20 minutes 
um, and we'll check it just to make sure, you know, obviously people's ovens can be a little bit different. So if you feel like it's cooking too fast, you can cut back on the baking, on the baking time, on the roasting time. Um, but there is going to be a second step to your cook. Um, you're actually going to add the balsamic vinegar and Parmesan on the next step. So we'll get this going for about 20 minutes and check it um, and see how it's doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it in the oven and we will put it right on the middle rack. Okay, it's been about 25, 30 minutes. So I'm going to pull the pan out of the oven and then we'll add our last couple ingredients. Nice and steamy hot. Okay, so I now have four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. This is gonna steam even more. You just wanna make sure you kinda of cover everything. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got our Parmesan cheese, I prefer. Um, you could do just like the typical, um, you know, dry grated parm. I prefer the freshly shredded, gets even more flavor. And it's about a half cup. Um, you don't necessarily need to measure. I just cut a few chunks and, and go from there. And obviously if you're trying to cut back on your salt, you want to not go too heavy with this. Okay, so that looks good. All right, and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for one final cook to kind of cook in that balsamic vinegar and um, obviously melt our cheese. Okay, it's been about another five to 10 minutes, so now I am ready to pull the cauliflower from the oven. And it looks amazing. So there is our balsamic, watch out for the steam, Parmesan roasted cauliflower. And while that was cooking, I um, threw in a baguette on the side and cooked up See, that's not too high yet. Cooked up some fried eggs, so it's a super easy, quick dinner that, that is very healthy. And I hope you will give the uh, cauliflower a try. And if you try it, let me know how you like it. And thank you as always for watching At Home with the Dietitian. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you get and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. Thank you again.